welcome back to my channel for another video. Thank you for all returning subscribers for returning. Hello, my name is Karis Beauty. In today's video, I'm going to be trying the viral TikTok makeup that I've been seeing all over TikTok recently. I'm going to be testing it all out, and it is from a different, a few different places that I got all the makeup from. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Please make sure you have a it's on before leave and let's go straight into the video. So, as I was saying in the intro, I am going to be doing a viral makeup look for you guys on the makeup that I bought that I've seen all over TikTok. So obviously I've seen quite a few bits and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to give it a go. And then also I'm going to be using my own makeup products as well. So I'm going to be talking to you all about what makeup products that I have used. So... So let's move some bits around and then we can get straight into it. There's some bits that is going to be long-winded while I'm explaining it and some bits that won't be. But first of all, you're going to need to put your headband on. So you don't get it in your hair. I look like a man when I do that. I don't normally do it, but I am going to today. Even though I look like a man. So the products I'm going to be using... So we've got two different foundation things. Well, I don't know if it's a foundation, it's more like a primer within a foundation, that makes sense. So we've got the PS Flawless Glow Radiant Glow Primer Foundation Hybrid, and that is in Buttermilk. And that's obviously the duped Charlotte Tilbury. And then this is the Collection's brand new um, primer slash foundation, but you can use it as concealer and you can use it as highlighter as well, I think. But let me just take this off and um, I didn't take off all the um, stuff, did I? I didn't take off all the rubbish or anything. Oh, that's going to be sticky as anything. Else. Yeah, well, it is what it is. Um, but obviously, I've got quite a few products to try out. So we've got that. And then we've got the Collection Gorgeous Glow Filter Finish Complexion Boosting Primer Emulation. And this says it's a multi-use, so you can use it as a primer, skin, three uses. So you could do it under foundation, dot and blend on the cheeks and high points of the face as a highlighter. And you can wear it on its own all over glow as well. So this is like a three sort of, I am going to use it with my highlighter because this is the highlighter I've got. I've got the Revolution Baked Highlighter. So I'm going to like see if it actually does come out as a highlighter. But we're going to use it in some different points, both of them, and see what it looks like. So we're going to be using that as well. So we've got them. Hopefully it will look as good as I think it's going to be. And then also we've got the Studio London Boss Brow Lash and Brow Gel. So I'm going to be using that on my brows, like just to lift them a little bit. And then we've got the Studio Lip Plumper. So I'll be using that and then on top of the lip plumper I'm going to be using the Studio London Power Pouch Shimmer Gloss which is in like a nude colour. So we're going to see what all of that turns out to look like. So that is all the viral bits that I got. Obviously you can't buy my TikTok shop, you could just go to a local shop and go and get it. So I've been to um, Primark and I've been to Superdrug as well. Most of my makeup is from Superdrug and Savers and Beauty Outlet and some other places. But it's all a bit of a mix. So let's go straight into it. So I'm going to be using my PS Flawless Glow as a primer. So what I'm going to do is just take this off. Oh wow, can't wait to use this. I don't know how much to use this, but... Like, look at that. Absolutely amazing. I don't know how it's used there, so I'm just going to use a little bit. Just do it in a few little spaces. And see. Wow. Look at that. That's mad. Right, so I'm just going to quickly blend it out and then I'll be back. Yeah, let me know. Thank you. 
awesome so wow like that obviously i can't justify it hold on oh wow yeah you can see that glow already from that primer and i 100 percent give that a nine out of ten like 100 percent worth your fiber obviously you can't tell that it looks like that sort of color you know what i mean like it doesn't you know so that yeah nine out of ten 100 percent give that a go next we are going to go on to brows so i'm going to be using the brow gel and just flick up my brows and then i'm going to go over it with my brow pencils when it's all dried out so let's get straight to that You can actually see a difference in my brows. So it's got a little bit of like around my yeah. You can see that difference already within my brows. So I'm now gonna go in with my archery brow pencil, and I've got my Avon one as well. So I'm just gonna literally line them out, and then um, you know do it all and then i'm gonna be on to mascara and whatnot so i'll be back in a minute i'm just gonna literally just time lapse you all while i do my brows but i say this is a good seven out of ten so yeah i'll be back in a moment so that is my brows all nice and done so now i'm on to mascara which I'm going to be using the W7 Big Lash Mascara. I just want to make my lashes um, look big and obviously stand out for this makeup look. So let's do that. <laughs> is the mascara as well which i really like that mascara but it does go everywhere as well especially on your eyelids which is the worst place to have mascara so yeah so that's done now we are on to concealer now i use different i use two different concealers but I say two, I'll probably go to extreme of about three. So I'm using the Sleek Makeup Life Proof Concealer in the shade, what's the shade? 03 Cafe Urulate, whatever that says. And then I also use the Revolution Cushion correction in banana and this bit and this yeah it's in the shade banana and it just goes here where my nose gets really sore and sometimes i do actually use um collections concealer but i actually haven't got any so it is what it is so let's put some of this on i do use quite a lot of concealer as well i don't want my makeup to look too cakey today just because when I've done my makeup recently, it's looked a bit cakey. And I don't want it, and that's why I'm not putting a lot of concealer on, only because of that um, look that I want to go for. I just want to go for the look of, you know, making my skin look flawless, really. 
so I'm going to go back in with the, oh, why does it always do this? With my beauty blender. I'm just blend it all out, so I'll be back in a moment. <laughs> Now I'm going to go on to baking. So I'm going with the MUA Makeup Academy Satin Powder and it's in Banana Bake. And I'm just going to bake underneath my eyes, my chin. I always do my forehead and then I do these bits between when I do my contour just to give it that sort of, you know, baked look. And it's one of them that you have to get it all out basically. So, just gonna bake that. Don't need, look at that. You don't need an awful lot to bake your face. Just don't need that much at all. Just needs just that little bit and a little bit it just goes a long, long way. And I was probably just dropped loads of it on me. But, oh my days, yeah. I just dropped about loads of it. I dropped loads on me. Which is always the way when it comes to baking. I'm going to let that bake. And I'm going to do my contour. So I'm using the Revolution Pro Sculpt and Glow Contour and Highlighter Palette. And I'm going to be using... This one here, and I'm just gonna get my not that brush, this brush, and this is the Revolution angled brush, which I always use for contour. Like so, that's the contour done. And then I go in with the CNDR Beauty Kind Bronze Bronzer. And that's from a really old um, glossy box. So I'm going to do that. Give it a bit of a shake. Give us that bronze look. So that is that. And that is how you want to basically look. And then I'm gonna go in with my Primark brush. I think this is a Primark brush or some type of brush. And I'm just gonna literally do all this. Put all my powder in and then going over my setting powder. Just to make sure it's all set. Because you need it all to be set and ready. As you do. And then I'm going in with the Revolution Bake and Blot um, Setting Powder in the shade of beige. This. I do need a little bit because a little bit. go a long way like so and then we are going to go in with that's a, that's a highlighter that's a highlighter we are going to go in with now the highlighter and this is the highlighter that we're going to use as well as this one
I'm just doing the points that we need to. And I know what I do over here. Right there. Do a little bit on my forehead. And then I'm just going to... Oh, wow. I don't know why I did it my finger, but wow. Like, you can see a difference. I don't know if I've got a... Oh, yeah. I have a highlight in. Just don't give me that. Wow. And I'm save my nose. Cupid's bow. Same again here. Same again on my forehead. I think I did put quite a bit on, but a little bit goes a very, very long way. I don't know if I can see it anywhere else, but we'll see it at the end. And then last but not least, we are I don't know if I can see it. Oh no, yeah, I can see it slightly. But I'd say I give this a 5 out of 10. It's not like the best sort of highlighter. So I'm just going to quickly go over this one. And see if it makes a bit of a difference. Yeah, so that makes a difference. So make that shine a little bit better. Like so. Like that's how I wanted it to look. Um so now we're just going to go straight on to the lips. And the lips are the best part because I'm being I'm going to be using my new lip products, which is the Lip Plumper and my gloss. So I don't know how long you've got to lose, uh, leave this on for, but I think you're going to do a little bit and then, yeah. I think I put a lot on now. I don't know if anyone can see that difference yet. Oh wow, yeah, I can see. I can see a difference. I don't want to leave my lips like this, or I have to put it over the top. But I can see that difference. Which is crazy, so I am going to go over the top of this, but only a little bit, just so. You can see that difference. Yeah, but you can't see the colour of that, but wow. Wow. This is definitely... 9 out of 10. This one... 9 out of 10, 100%. All the pugs that I've used are literally just over 5, which is crazy and it's worth the money. So I'm just going to take my headband out, like so. But yeah, this is the finished makeup look. I just, I, wow. Wow. I'm forgetting one more thing. 
my spray, my satin spray, just to set it all in place. Now that is what you call a makeup look. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Please make sure the notification bell is on before you leave. And I will tag all of the makeup products down below if you want to go and buy them. It's worth the money to go and test them out if you want to. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Please watch my notification bell. It's on free leave and I'll see you all soon for another video. Love to you all. Bye guys.